This is Sue at Hometown Homestead Gal Gardener. My little log roof is in the back there. Um, lately, my fibromyalgia has been really kicking my butt. So I've been doing a lot of sitting here on the couch and get the basics done with the, um, you know, the house cleaning and that kind of stuff. And then a lot of time resting. And that gets kind of boring. So I've been doing a lot of crocheting. So today I'm coming to you talking to, about, to you about a lot of yarny goodness. I was able to finish this triangle shawl. It's done with, each grouping is done with four double crochets, starting at the bottom point, working your way up, and then just simply finishing it along the bottom with a simple scallop of one, two, three, four, five stitches in each space there and that was done with plain old regular red heart super saver it's nice and big and it's a nice thick chunky warm shawl i also was able to finish a shawl using this karen cotton cakes which is let's see where's the label say it's blush and bloom color which i just love it's 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. This cake is 530 yards, 8.8 .8 ounces or 250 grams, which made this adorable little shawl that is just fun. It's all different. I started in the center up here in the circle and then just kept adding row after row after row but aren't those just yummy luscious colors and it was fun just coming along and doing all the different stitches it's more suited for somebody probably my daughter's size but it's great for just covering up the shoulders and it'd be cute with t-shirt and jeans that sort of thing and you can use a shawl pin on it to keep it closed whatever they're just lots of fun um one of the quests that i went on is a lot of the gals on the needleworking pages that i'm on on facebook were talking about yarn at dollar tree now the yarn at dollar tree is a unicorn because most Dollar Trees don't have them. I was able to find this yarn. It is Premier Yarns Dream, 174 meters, 190 yards, three ounces, 100% acrylic. It's a nice, soft yarn. It is a four weight yarn according to the label. And the colors were really pretty. I picked up 10 of these, and of which I am are on my works in progress all over the place. I'm working on a baby set. This is half of a pair of pants. And so I'm going to work on a baby boy set with that. And I was looking for some yarn that's like a flat, thick yarn that I wanted to use for bags or for rugs. But I went to five different Dollar Trees in my area and none of them had it. That was the only yarn I found at Dollar Tree. So I had also hit up um, uh, Hobby Lobby for some sale that they had and I hit up the um, Michaels had a great sale over the weekend. Well not a great sale but a good enough sale and I had a little bit of pocket money so I was able to get some goodies and I got you know, 10, 10 skeins of this is quite a lot so at Michaels I picked up another one of these Karen cotton cakes, what I like what I used that on that shawl. And this color is Calico Flowers. Isn't that just pretty muted rainbow tones? But the, these yarns are so soft and yummy. I never thought I was gonna like the um, cake yarns. I thought the, the color changing in them was so stupid and this, that, and the other thing. And so I was quite surprised when I found that I did like it. The, um, it's an ongoing project. There's another shawl that I'm working on and a cake yarn and using the drunken granny stitch. 
This is um, a Mandala yarn, Lion Brand Mandala. And I can't remember the color. I've got several cakes of that. So then that's gonna be a rectangular shelf. That's gonna be a lot of really pretty. My ADD brain, I can't just do a project and finish it. I have to have like all of these different things going on. I get tired of this one, I go back. I just switch back and forth. Another project that I'm working on is I'm trying to do some boy baby things. And this is a little pair of pants. I have to finish the ends, but they're kind of, it's kind of a retro -y golden green. And I'm working on a hat to go with it. And I'm using this, my lovely yarn bowl that my dad made for me that is just so awesome. So that's another project. And let me show you some other fibery goodness that I got. Speaking of boy projects, I also picked up two skeins of, and this is from Michael's, it's Loops and Threads Impeccable in Charcoal Tweed. Thought that might be some good boy colors. They're super soft. These are, let's see, where's their information? 190 yards, three ounces, 97% acrylic, 3% other fiber. So the little color flex must be other fibers. So that's one set. And then in the same yarn, but different color, this one is Camo Tweed. Just trying to do some classic colors there too. And then this one in the same yarn is Aaron Tweed. You can see the little flex in there. So I'll do up some more little baby boy sets in those. Um, I also picked these up at Hobby Lobby. Some small, um, these are I Love This Yarn, Sport Weight. The Sport Weight's also good for baby items. This is turquoise and coral. Now these are Let's see, two and a half ounces, 71 grams, 230 yards, 210 meters, 100% acrylic. And it says use a four millimeter knitting needles or five millimeter crochet hooks. And these don't give the yarn size on them, but I just thought they were pretty nice soft yarns. I'm, I'm really working on the soft yarns right now. And I also picked these up at Michael's. There's two skeins of Lion Brand Vanna's Choice and three ounces, 85 grams, 145 yards, 133 meters, 100% acrylic. And this color is Denim Mist. So again, I've made so many baby girl dresses that I just thought it'd be fun to work on some boy stuff for a while. And so, hence all of the um, less pink feminine colors and more earthy tones and things of that nature. Oh, hush, Rufus. Shh. That's enough out of you. Stop. Now, the last project that I'm actually going to show you what I'm doing for the pattern, will you hush? Uh, is I also picked up from Michaels a pe package. This was a this was a really good deal. It was on a nice sale. Snugly Wuggly Big Loops and Threads. And it's a huge skein. It's 947 yards, 10 and a half ounces. 866 meters, 297 grams. It's a light three weight yarn. It is made in Turkey, it says to use a four millimeter hook. And that's under a bunch of writing. And color is doodle dots. It's got pink and purple splashes throughout it. I'm leaving it in the plastic to keep it clean since it's, it's a white yarn base. 
I'm saving all of my little short ends because I'm thinking about either using them in rugs or um, twiddle muffs to donate to two senior centers senior, where people are having Parkinson's disease issues, that kind of thing. So this is what I'm working with with the Snuggly Wuggly. I'm going to make a shawl out of it. And I'm using this gigantic end hook. Look at how big that thing is. Not a normal hook that you Shh. Oh, go chase it. Go get him. Oh, silly dog. Who knows what he's barking at? Who knows what he's barking at? So, big hook, little skinny yarn. I started by chaining 77. And on the third chain from the hook, I went back and did a double, I did a row of double crochets all the way down back. And then I did another row of double crochets. So it's two rows of double crochets. And then I started a V stitch pattern. And that's what I'm working on right now. So let me bring you in a little closer. And let's see if you can see what it is I'm doing here. Bend you down, get you out of the sunlight there. So, and this is going to be another rectangular shawl. And it's the V stitch is just a cluster of two double crochets inside the V on the row before it. There's one and there's two. Simple as that. Well, that's all I've got for you today, me and my barking dog. So happy stitching. This is Sue from Hometown to Homestead Gal Gardener, and we'll see you next time.